If the crowd is any indication, you'll want to hit the road early to get a table at the Birch Door Cafe in Bellingham. I just posted on Facebook, mind-blowing, the best breakfast ever. Everything is made in-house from scratch. We have some boiled apple peels that we're uh, cooking down for an apple nectar that we make into our apple syrup. And the pancakes are something to behold. Pancake house at heart, I would say. Baking is science. Very careful steps with chemical reactions and stuff that these enzymes help the pancake actually sit better in your stomach so you don't have that bloated feeling. Wow. It all adds up to the wow factor when it arrives on people's plates. In Skagit County, there's a small restaurant with a big fan base. It's a destination meal. At Tweets Cafe in Edison, servings are plentiful and the seasonal menu changes almost weekly. But the appeal isn't just about food, it's a complete experience. There's two big community tables, so you'll meet the locals, you'll meet people from all over the state, sit next to strangers, you'll like it. And just remember to bring cash or checks, it's all they take. Our next stop requires a ferry ride to Vashon Island. The Ruby Brink has captured the attention of many for a dish with a straightforward name, the meat and noodle. It's a kind of a small legend for us at this point. The soup consists of, you guessed it, meat and noodles, along with pickles, vegetables, and a soft boiled egg. Simple, but thanks to high quality ingredients, simply delicious. Tucked away on Bainbridge Island is a small spot that transports you across the pond. At proper fish and chips, the cod is line caught from the Bering Sea. Then the fish goes for a swim in seasoned flour and a house-made beer batter. The batter is cooked to perfection. Everything is, cr is crisp and it's uh, fresh every single day. Every order also comes with a side of this, mushy peas. It's a British tradition. Okay, for fresh shellfish, head to the South Sound. Olympia's Chelsea Farms Oyster Bar does Tide to Table. The restaurant harvests their oysters and clams on a Hood Canal beach about five miles from where they serve them. And finally, in the Yakima Valley, you'll find an unlikely James Beard Award winner. Los Hernandez on Union Gap's Main Street took home the honor in 2018. Since then, people have been coming from across the state and country to taste their tamales. These are probably the best tamales I've ever had. <laughs> They're really moist and really delicious. Seven days a week, Felipe Hernandez and his wife fill corn husks with masa and savory meat. The basic ingredients, I stick with that. 60 dozen tamales a day, ready to serve or packed to go. So the next time you plan a road trip, don't forget to fuel up at one of these tasty stops.